Speaking with Steve Mako, who just won the uh, 120 kilo weight class here at the Dave Schultz. It's been a while since you've had a competition. Uh, how did it feel to go through a full tournament today? It felt good, you know. It felt good. It was important for me, you know, coming into this cycle that, you know, I got to get, I got to get my, myself ready to go and get some competitions. And you know, I didn't know what I was going to do, but now that I'm coming in to compete and I got to get those. I mean, wrestling in the room, is, I feel real, real good. But getting those cobwebs off in the competition is always important. Now you decided to take some time off uh, during last season and didn't go out for the U.S. team. Well, what made you decide that you had the fire to come back and try to make the Olympics again? Uh, just, I mean, I, part of it was working out with my workout partner every day. I mean, I'm training, even though I'm coaching, but I'm kind of training, so it made me real hungry. So I decided to come back out and rest. Now, you work out every day with the top heavyweight right now in college, Zach Gray. Yeah. Has he been a good uh, workout partner for you to yeah. get ready for this? Awesome, awesome workout partner. Because yeah. I know he took fourth at our nationals last year, so he, he's somebody who has a chance to do well in this level, he's, too. He's tough, man. He's tough. He's scary strong. He's very athletic. You know, he's a, he's a real good workout partner for me. And it's been a lot of fun, you know, helping him out in Scholastic. You know, I kind of been, stepped away from Scholastic for a number of years since college, training freestyle and football and other things. But coming back to Coach Scholastic brought me back to, you know, wrestling top and bottom and stuff like that. And it's been a lot of fun. Scholastic is a lot of fun. Freestyle, though, is where you got to get your bread buttered, you know? Now, you, you're an East Coast guy, grew up in Jersey. Uh, you're back in the East helping uh, coach at Lehigh. How's it been to be able to go back to the part of the country you grew up in? It's, it's awesome. You know, I'm an hour and a half away from my family in Jersey. Uh, they come up regularly. Um, the kids love it. You know, my wife, my wife, it's her first time on the East Coast, but she's kind of getting used to it. She likes it. You know, real supportive of me, and uh, it's, been, it's been a good move. Smooth transition with the coaches at Lehigh, Coach Santoro, Coach Kutz, you know, Hughes and Dylan, they've been, they've been awesome. Get me settled and uh, put me in an environment where I could coach, but a training environment for myself, too. Um, could you talk just a little bit about what your next competition is so they get ready for the Nationals? Uh, right now, I'm not sure. I got to talk with my coaches. We we're thinking about uh, maybe a tour, maybe not. We just got to see. Uh, it was really good that there was a lot of foreigners here, so it kind of gave me a, a little bit of that feel. But you know, we'll see what happens. If I don't want a tour, it'll be the U.S. Open. And um, did you feel good that you're a wrestler again and that you're out there and actually doing it in front of the fans and putting it on the line? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel real good. You know, it's, 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 you put it on the line, you know, it's, but it's different when you're out there and you're competing. You just got the Outstanding Wrestling Award. Oh, all right. Thanks, man. Well, I guess you need to go in and get it, buddy. Right. Congratulations. Thanks.